go ahead and get started. So here is the laser door we're going to be building today. Um, it's very simple, you just pull this lever and the door opens and closes immediately. Now I'll get more into the secret of why this works here as we go along with the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is start with a 7x7 platform. Um, and then we're going to have to grab some diamond blocks, so let me grab those real quick. Alright, and then we're going to fill, uh, fill in like three rows here uh, with diamond blocks, just like this. And then uh, after that we're going to need to get some pistons. So. Uh, look for a sticky piston, that's the kind of piston we want, and then as well as some redstone. And I'm going to go ahead and get some quartz too, because this is going to be the main block um, I'm just going to be building off of. So you don't necessarily need quartz. Okay, so grab the block of your choice and add on a layer, like so, right next to the beacon beams. And then what you want to do is actually, hold on, I need to make a piston face this way. So there we go. Get your piston orientated just like that, and then um, go ahead and place all the pistons down the line just like that. So if they push into the beam, they will block it. And then um, behind the pistons, place some quartz blocks, as well as some redstone just like that. And uh, there we go. Now we need to go to the other side here, grab some red stained glass, and go ahead and place that two blocks above the beacon. Um, and then, you, I mean, you can choose whatever color you want. I just chose red because, uh, you know, lasers are usually red. But you could do green or blue or whatever your heart desires. Um, and then place those red stained glasses just like that. And on top of the red stained glasses, add some gates. And what these gates do is whenever they're open, you're allowed to walk through. And whenever you're closed, they're just a little bit taller. So they kind of block you from being able to walk through the door. And then that's kind of how everything works. So we're trying to activate all these gates all at once. So that way uh, it will enable and disable the laser door. So uh, once you got your gates, go ahead and place some... Oops, I missed. Go ahead and place some carpets uh, on top of the fences for a quick disguise. There we go. Once you're done with that, go ahead and add some quartz blocks on each side of the carpet. Um, so that way... Uh, you'll have something to walk on and then uh, you can go ahead and add two layers might as well do that Bam 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 bam. There we go. We've got our quartz and uh, the next step is to add some redstone So here we go. We're gonna have to place a quartz block uh, layer right here Down the line just like that and what we want to do is we're gonna place some redstone torches Which I also have uh, right here. Oops yeah, on each one we're going to place a redstone torch, and then we're going to place another few layers of quartz blocks right beneath, just like this. And once you do that, uh, go ahead and grab a repeater, or some repeaters, and then place them down behind the redstone torches just like that, along with uh, a line... You guys didn't hear that? Along with a line of redstone, and uh, there you go. And now all we have to do is connect these uh, pistons over to this redstone, and we pretty much got our door, but we'll make it look nice and fancy as well. So uh, take some quartz blocks and um, connect them just like this. We're going to go out one block, and then we're going to go up like a stair uh, case, or stairs, <laughs> and then uh, do a block two spaces above that block. Now we're going to add some redstone, so let's go ahead and slap that down right there. And then go ahead and put a redstone torch on the side of the block, just like that. Um, now what we're going to do is, I guess, just make this look a little bit better. So um, go ahead and build a couple quartz pillars, just like this, on the side. Boom, boom, boom. And then what we could do is we could get some white stained glass and connect that along the top, just like that. And there we go, we've got our doors. Now, uh, it's a matter of just making it look pretty, so uh, let's just add some more blocks here, just like that, there we go. And then over here, I believe we just place the lever and it should work. Let's try it out. And there you go! <laughs> you got your laser door, which is pretty sick. It's one of my favorite doors I think I've seen in Minecraft. Hold on, let me add some more quartz here. Bam, 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 alright. And now we have an official laser door, look at this. This is so cool. All right. So I'm just walking up, ha la la la, having a good day, and then boom. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just walking through my laser door here. And then when I pull one more time, I, oh, <laughs> I can go through. What did I do? Oh, okay. I didn't connect the redstone down here. Okay. So what we have to do 
is connect this redstone. Let me do that before I forget. There we go. It should be connected now. Um, can I pull it? Yep. Now we can't walk through. This is cool. I pull it again. Now we can walk through. So there you have it. There is the amazing laser door by Domza22. Make sure you guys check this out yourselves. It's really cool. It's survival friendly. And it's a freaking laser door. I don't know how much cooler it can get than that. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, maybe you want to see some more redstone stuff, let me know by hitting a like down below. And don't forget to check